Hi, I'm Michael Brown, the beauty expert for Rescue TV, and we're here today to talk about summer proofing your makeup. We all know in summer we get a little bit, you know, humid, maybe some sweatiness, but we also go swimming as well. So let's talk about some key products that are great for this time of year. Michael, a lot of our readers contact me and want to know how they can go from gym to lunch to cocktail. Is there such a good thing? lifestyle? <laughs> Is there such a, a look that can see us through the day and take us into night? You definitely could. I mean, depending on how intense your gym routine was, but I think it's about the Let's preparation. Take a yeah, no, a <laughs> it's about the priming of the skin. Now, obviously, at the gym you perspire, then you might also go out for coffee on a really hot day and perspire. Yep. So one of the things that I cannot live without is a primer that actually targets the pores and actually de-shines the skin. Because when you keep using powder over the top of your makeup, it will look cakier. So something really light, silicon based that really helps to smooth out the pores but also de-shine is amazing. Great. One of my favourites is the Lancome La Base Pro. When you pump it out, put it on your hand, you'll feel the difference immediately. So it's like a gel? It's like a gel, comes out gel. It's a silicon based oh, product. Goes matte. Clear, transparent and feels like a velvet matte finish. So if you do have large pores, um, some redness as well, it really calms that area down. More importantly, it makes makeup not sit into the pores and look like you've got this sweaty mess on your skin, but also shine control. So think of that as like a barrier between you, your skin and the foundation. Amazing product. Great. Now today we've already applied this product on you, okay, on your nose area. But then we also wanted a light foundation nothing too heavy and something that's good for the skin so we chose the bb cream from rimmel such a light product these are it's a nine in one crazy it does nine things. different things yeah. in one product and it's such a great value exactly affordable um, affordable beauty is something we can't argue with but we also use a little bit of concealer just around the under eye area and around this part here where there may be some pinkness just to get that little bit extra coverage but apart from that fabulous fresh and smooth skin because in summer it can move a little bit from the sweatiness, can't it? It can. So once you get the skin right, which we have today, smooth and primed ready for the summer weather that you may experience in the day, my number one makeup tip is lips. In summer, you might be going, like we said, from the gym to a coffee to a cocktail. If you have a bold lip on or a really good lip product, you'll always look fabulous. Don't worry about anything else. It's quick, it's easy, put it into your bag and it can touch up well. My favourite choice is Revlon, just a bit kissable. So comfortable being that balm texture, but you get the benefit of having a stain. So that means from the gym to the cocktail, your lips should stay on. And it's a gel formula, so it doesn't leak in. What, one of the things I, I actually like when you introduced me to this product is that it doesn't seep into any of your lines. No, so it yeah. stays poured. And even when the balm texture leaves, the stain is still there. The colour's still there, yeah. And that's the good thing about it too. It's very buildable. So at a coffee, you may just want, you know, a very low-key version of the bold lip. But then go to that cocktail and you can build it up and really work it in. And also reintroducing the balm so your lips are luscious from morning to night. So, Baha, we've tried many colours on you before. Red was our last one. I'm thinking you've got touches of a little purple in this dress as well. Let's go the fuchsia pink. Yes, what let's do, do it. Yep. I, I love experimenting with colour. And you know what? It's just lipstick. If it doesn't work, we can take it take off. Take it off, exactly. So, with this, as we mentioned, we just wind and it can, you know, sharpen itself. What we normally do is start in the centre. So we're going to apply the lipstick now. So starting in the centre of the mouth, where we get most of our wear and tear from drinking and eating. Just applying that beautiful balm texture and you can see the colour coming out already, it's gorgeous. The product is, is large enough to cover the lip but sharp enough where I am now to give you a strong lip line. Don't forget, you want the bold lip to be crisp and clear even if you're swimming and going to the beach. Then the other side, the same. We get that cupid's bow into that gorgeous shape. And then to finish, it's really giving the lip that one last sweep over. Build up the colour to suit your particular lifestyle and occasion for that day. 
gorgeous. So as I mentioned, it's all about the lips this season, but there is an area that we love to play up, and that's the lashes. So when you're swimming and whatnot, we normally always, well, as a makeup artist, I don't really like the waterproof mascaras as an everyday look, because they can be a little bit too, or a, hard to get off for you at night time, but also they can dry out the lashes. But in a beach environment, we really need to think about waterproofing those lashes. Nothing worse than having it running down the, the cheek. So if you're playing up the lips and want something subtle, I'll go with a waterproof mascara. So if you just stand up a sec, we can actually apply this on you now. So with this mascara being waterproof, let's focus on the outer lashes as well. Okay, so really lifting them up and trying to wing them out. That's a great summer look rather than sometimes having the big fan lash that we have when we're wearing more mascara. So I'm almost dragging out that outer area of the lash to give a winged styled look. Very elegant then with the bold lip. Gorgeous. And then it gives a natural lift to the eye. Now for those girls that love that little bit of colour, even during this, you know, crazy time of year when we're going from gym, coffee to cocktails, and you want that little bit extra, sometimes it's great to summer-proof your makeup by wetting or dampening your brush so the eyeshadow can last a little bit longer. It's a great tip. Often the eyeshadow can crease otherwise. So if we just dab the tip of the brush with a little bit of water, not drenching it, and then using that into the eyeshadow and then apply, you'll actually weatherproof it so it will last longer and give higher pigment. Let's try a wash of colour over the lid. So with that eye colour, that really popped as well. So girls who want to have fun with colour, you can pick and choose the shades you want. But as you can see, the lip is still the star product from this makeup look. Because of that, we're not going to use any blush colour because having colour on the eye, colour on the lip and the cheek, once again it ruins that you know balance that we like in the makeup. So you know, a slight contour is great, but no colour. What we want to do next is weatherproof for longevity in the, in the days to come with makeup. You've got your primer underneath, but what if you do get a little bit perspiry throughout the day? We can of course use our trusty powder compact. Okay, so, so you're using a clear one. It's a translucent. Translucent means that it can suit all skin colours rather than getting one actually for your colour because sometimes I find they actually make the foundation look muddy, especially if you're applying them throughout the day. My tip is try to avoid the powder on a you know, really hot day as much as possible. Let the primer that we put on before um, do its magic. If necessary, only in the centre. It's a really, really light dust. Nothing around the eye or the outer cheek because it can dry out the look, which is not good. But it's great to do on the nose and the forehead and the chin as these are the areas that we, you know, get targeted mainly throughout the day. One other product I love is a hydrating mist. Now, someone like myself that travels a lot and is more dehydrated than the skin type, this is great in summer as well to let the makeup infuse into your skin. So you do a little mist. Do you want to close your eyes? Okay. Just do a little circle around your, around your face. This is a mint. So the Shumaru Depth Sea Waters are amazing because there's some that relax and some that energise. The mints that energise. So not only, do you, as well. yeah, exactly. not only do you feel lifted, but that hydration mist coming into your skin gives the foundation a bit more of a natural look and lets it bond into your skin. Perfect summer look. Now, the lip is the star product. So once again, that just bitten kissable is gonna be the feature. Play up the eyes if you want to with color. Always go a lash and think about priming your skin for this beautiful summer complexion.